When I was three years old, I was standing in line at a grocery store and a gentleman in front of us turned around and said what a pretty little girl I was. And my comment was, no, I'm not. I'm adopted. found out about my adoption when I was 47 years old and it came as an enormous surprise. It felt wrong that somebody gave me away and yet it felt really good that I was adopted and somebody took me in. So it, I felt very confused for a lot of years. In my generation, there weren't any books or support groups or people that I could go to for help to help me work through what was going on with me. My first suicide attempt was when I was 14 and it was because I was rejected by a boyfriend. We adoptees, we're, we're a minority that not many people recognize, not many people understand. And to go into a room and hear somebody talk about their experience growing up being adopted, it was like, I'm not the only one, man. I felt like I was hearing myself talk. When an adoptee decides to search and how scary and how painful that that is, is that the resources and the information are there to help them along the way. Had it not been for the Celia Center, I probably wouldn't be here today because I felt very lonely and very sad and very, very lost. I was at the Celia Center to provide a place that will benefit foster youth and adoptees to feel comfortable and have people who have walked through the system and been in their shoes before and know these, this is what you need, this is what you need to do, these are the schools, these are the necessities of life and show you you are not alone. When I started first going to these adoption and support groups, I loved hearing from the birth mothers because I now understand more my mother's point of view when she put me up for adoption. As a parent and as a clinician, I've been very grateful for the Celia Center. I'm so glad that for my own daughter, I know that I can offer her a very specific kind of support. Here, stories from birth parents and adopted parents and adoptees all in the same room create such a beautiful conversation. To sit in a room and have an adoptive mom talk about being in the delivery room when her baby was born and be sitting next to a birth mother who said, I was in the room too when my baby was born. That connects us and that love and that support is just so important. This is the place that understands who you are the trials and tribulations, the sense of abandonment, they heal that, that place, those dark holes in your life. You can't find that anywhere else.